Hi friends, in this episode we will see about liquid nitrogen production by means of cryogenic air separation method. Liquid nitrogen is produced by cryogenic method. In this we can get around 99.95% purity. Normally centrifugal compressors are used. You can use reciprocating compressor also. And from the reciprocating compressor, air is compressed and it is cooled in the after cooler. After the after cooler, immediately after the compressor, it is coming to the chilled water cooler, where the temperature will be reduced to around 15 to 20 degrees centigrade and moisture will be removed. Then it goes to the air purifier unit. The air purifier unit is filled with activated alumina to remove further moisture and molecular steam which is used to remove carbon dioxide, heavy hydrocarbon and hydrogen sulfide. After this, this air purifier outlet is going to the uh, cold box via main heat exchanger. Main heat exchanger is having two inlet and two outlet. In cold box, we are having to condensers and a high pressure column or rectifier. From there, you will get waste nitrogen or oxygen to vaporize to drain or vent. And liquid nitrogen as a product, and if you need gaseous nitrogen, it will collected at the top. In the air purifier unit, normally we will have two sets of unit. One will be on service, another will be on the regeneration. The waste nitrogen that is rich in oxygen. Which will be normally vented out in, by timer to the vaporizer and one, one line is routed to the air purifier via electric heater. The regenerated bed which is due for regeneration is regenerated by means of the waste nitrogen that is oxygen after getting heated for 4 or 5 hours then another 4 of cooling then it will be ready for the service. So I have air purifier ready to remove CO, CO2, hydrocarbons and uh, hydrogen sulfide and it is going to the cold box through heat exchanger. This main heat exchanger plays a vital role. Main heat exchanger is, is getting inlet from air purifier as well as from cold box and our outlet is going to the cold box and uh, back to the receiver also. So, in the cold box we are having two condensers and high pressure column. And in inlet of uh, cold box after the heat exchanger, if you want only liquid nitrogen, you will have expansion turbine. If you want gaseous nitrogen more, then you will have cold expander turbine or, and cold booster compressor. Cold booster also will be there. In this plant, after this air compressor, there won't be any equipment run by motor, only one leak. Oil pump will be there, which is used to regulate the pressure of the cold booster and cold uh, expander. The cold expander turbine plays a vital role which is giving cold energy to the cold box by means of joule thomson effect. When the air purifier going through the heat exchanger is going to the expansion turbine, while getting expansion, the temperature becomes reduced, the temperature becomes reduced and it will become liquid, then it is going up. And the top is come to the heat exchanger by heat exchanger again it will go to the again this is cycle through the dark room. So the process continues normally for the big in beginning of the startup we will have some liquid nitrogen to get the cooling effect or cold energy. If you want if you don't have nitrogen then the process will take more than two days. So the uh, air will be separated, uh, then the temp cooling is affected by means of Joule Thomson effect and the temperature is attained. If you want gaseous nitrogen more and liquid nitrogen less, then the gaseous nitrogen production will be taken at the top and the uh, nitrogen liquid nitrogen production will be reduced. In that case, we will have the expansion turbine and the other side will have cold booster also will be there. That cold booster is used to be operated by the oxygen, gaseous oxygen which goes to the expansion turbine inlet and the cold oxygen which is getting collected at the cold box bottom will be ventured out or drained time to time. That 
through the vaporizer the cold uh, waste rate and cold oxygen coming through the bottom of the cold box will be used for the regeneration as well as it will be vented out you may have heard during the covid 19 condition many company converted the production or increased the production from liquid nitrogen to liquid oxygen that is a medical oxygen same process instead of wasting this nitrogen oxygen they reduce the nitrogen production by means of increasing the core co condenser level at the bottom for collecting the waste nitrogen or oxygen and they draw the project uh, product without going to the vaporizer and collected in the tankers that is the medical grade oxygen which is uh, after slight modification with the uh, analyzer and all same plant they they same process they are using for producing the liquid nitrogen and if you want to reduce the liquid nitrogen production only gas nitrogen board is means and it will be connected to the cold cold booster along with the expander you know the expander operation is applying dual thermal effect and cold booster will increase the pressure when it is the pressure is reduced in the cold box that is get boosted up so the cold box is place the right and roll so we will collect the nitrogen here and the nitrogen is collected in the nitrogen tanks uh, nitrogen receiver cold box which the oxygen is uh, temperature is around uh, minus 180 degree 80 degree centigrade one well, that is as i told you earlier it is going to drain or you can use it as a nitrogen the regeneration bed and when the plant is converted to produce medical oxygen instead of going to the drain they will connect it to the tankers or any receiver as a medical oxygen liquid nitrogen from the condenser is the temperature is around minus 180 degrees centigrade and gas nitrogen is around more means which is when you are having the cold booster along with the uh, expander you can get more gaseous nitrogen compared to the and you can reduce the liquid nitrogen production and this type of plant will be used in uh, mixing with natural gas to reduce the calorific value so liquid nitrogen when you expand it will go from around 100 times to gases same like oxygen will expand around 865 times this is the liquid nitrogen production plant by means of cryogenic method you may have understand how the liquid nitrogen plant is used to produce medical oxygen the same process is used when they when you are producing liquid nitrogen this liquid oxygen level they will never allow to go, go more than 20% when you want to collect the liquid oxygen they will increase the level and they will draw up or they will purge the oxygen as a medical oxygen and they will use it for the medical purpose Oh, you might have understand the process. We can see the question answer section in the next episode. Do not forget to subscribe or share. Thank you very much. Put your likes also.